All right, by popular demand, today I'm bringing you a comparison, the power washer alone versus a high pH pre-wash snow foam. Let's find out if pre-washing is worth your time or you should stop doing it. What's up, my name is Frank. I've been detailing cars for over a decade now. This channel is all about real world authentic detailing. Okay, welcome back to another pre-wash real world test. If you haven't seen my first video on pre-washing really dirty cars, I recommend that you do that first. I will leave the link in the description. All right, so let's get into it. Now, I was asked to introduce the pressure washer in the test. So in this video, we're gonna compare my usual pre-wash Koch Kimi Super Foam at 50 to 1 with hot water. And the other, on the other side, we'll use just plain water from the tap. We'll let that soak for five minutes, rinse everything off and compare the two sides. See if the difference is as dramatic as in the first video where I was using a simple garden hose now I'm very excited for this test, but remember my cars are really well maintained. They're being washed and protected about every two weeks. But nonetheless, uh, I'm really excited to show you the results. Uh, we're gonna do the VW inside the garage and we're gonna do the BMW outside, get different lighting. I'm sure you guys will appreciate that. Okay, let's check out the current state of the cars. As mentioned earlier, today I've got two test vehicles. They have been through the Canadian hell, a ton of salt, sand, and a nice la a thick layer of mud from the roads. May seem insane, but I keep up with the maintenance fairly well. The roads here have just never been dry for the past few weeks. Okay guys, so this test is not perfect. I'm not doing science here. So I've got the driver's door with super foam at 50 to one. We leave the rest of the car intact. Rinse off after five minutes of dwelling time. We're gonna compare if we have a difference in the amount of dirt remaining on the panels. So I am doing a thorough rinse here. I'm trying to be as fair as possible for each panel. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a 30 or 25 degree nozzle. And the pressure washer I'm using is the Active 2.0. So we'll finish the rinse right now. We'll let this dry for a few minutes, but in the meantime, we're gonna start the test on the Golf and come back to the BM for the final result right after that. Okay, so while recording the Golf, I lost the audio, so sorry about that. I will do the foam on the left. Again, super foam 50 to one with hot water. And on the right side, We'll just pre-soak with plain tap water. Okay, on the right side, I will use the tap water uh, from the garden hose simply because some people have been asking to pre-soak with water. Some people believe that just pre-soaking water, having a wet panel will kind of help in the rinsing process. So everything is pre-soaking. I'll let it dwell for five minutes, 
come back with the pressure washer to rinse everything off and see if there's any difference between the two. Okay, so I'd like you to pay attention on the glass, on the rear glass. Uh, this uh, window has a coating. So pay attention on the right side of the glass. You'll see the water isn't sheeting as well as on the left side. So my guess is that Superform did actually clean, touchless clean the left side. And obviously plain water just kind of rinsed and left uh, a thicker film. So let's go back to the BM after we let it dry. Okay, I let the BM dry for about 20 minutes. I'll let you be the judge, but in the video, it's hard to get the full picture. But visually, the driver's door is cleaner. There's less of a film. And also pay attention at the side skirt and the rocker panel. Now for the pure white golf, there's a tiny film remaining on the water only side that doesn't translate really well in the camera, but watch carefully the black plastic trim and the rear glass. The level of cleanliness is not the same from our two test sections. Again, watch carefully around the wiper demarcation, the right side versus the left. Okay, wow, so when we bring the pressure washer into the equation, the results uh, were quite different from the last video. Although the dirt on the VW Golf uh, wasn't there for more than two weeks, uh, this car is well maintained. 
uh, being washed and protect all the time uh, you could still spot the difference especially on the back window the tinted black uh, window and at the bottom of the bumper on the plastic on the black uh, plastic trim but for the bmw you can't deny the amount of dirt left on the nut pre soak side uh, probably about 10 to 20 percent cleaner on the pre soak side okay so remember the pre-washing product like super foam is is geared towards the automatic car wash especially the touchless car wash as far as we know the touchless car wash is not going to do a contact wash so those industry they need all the tools uh, they can get to get rid of the road film obviously so i can't see why us detailers uh, we would not be using those products to get the car as clean as possible before uh, doing our own uh, contact wash so for me it comes down to the level of care you're ready to invest in your car and if you are watching this you probably care enough to at least consider pre-washing when your car is heavily soiled with the hopes of uh, minimizing micro scratches and marring the pre-soak is a must if you don't have a pressure washer available and if your car isn't too dirty it's well maintained it has a ceramic coating uh, using the pressure washer alone is probably totally fine it's probably just as good as doing the pre-wash and with that being said i'll leave the links in the description thanks for supporting this channel and i'll see you guys in the next one